Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to solve one challenging radical equation problem. It is x plus 6 over square root x equal to 5 plus square root 5x minus x square. We have to find out only real solutions. So let's get started by writing x cannot be equal to 0 as it is in the denominator. Now I will consider minus x both sides or take this x to the RHS. So I can write 5 minus x RHS I am writing in LHS plus square root 5x minus x square and then it will become 6 over square root x. Now I can take x common from here. So I will be writing 5 minus x plus square root x times square root 5 minus x and RHS is 6 over root x. Now let's multiply both sides with root x. So I will write here root x, here also root x. So this root x will be cancelled out. So I can multiply with 5 minus x, root x times 5 minus x, this whole, plus root x times root x, x, root of 5 minus x, right hand side is 6. This is our radical equation where I will use substitution. So let us consider x is equal to a square and 5 minus x equal to b square. Okay, so one equation will come from substitution itself. a square plus b square is equal to a square plus b square is equal to x plus 5 minus x. So first equation is a square plus b square is equal to 5. Now let's put this substitution to our equation. So this will become square root x. So a 5 minus x is b square. So it will form a b square plus a square b equal to 6. a b square plus a square b equal to 6. Let me call this is equation 1. And second equation is from substitution itself a square plus b square is equal to 5. Now I will consider the very first equation where I will take a b common. So equation number 1 if I will write a b a plus b equal to 6. So from here I can write a plus b will be 6 over a b where a b cannot be 0. Now I will consider equation number 2. So equation 2 or better is to consider the squaring of this side. So let us consider a squaring a plus b whole square equal to 6 over a b whole square. So from here I can write a square plus b square plus twice a b equal to 36 over a square b square. Now from equation 2, I can write a square plus b square is 5. So this will become 5 plus twice a b equal to 36 over a square b square. Now I will multiply both sides with a square b square. So I will write our equation 5 plus twice a b times a square b square equal to 36. Let us multiply. So twice a cube b cube this multiplication plus 5 a square b square 
equal to 36. So this is one cubic equation in AB or let's consider AB equal to K. So I can write equation 2K cube plus 5K square minus 36 equal to 0. Now I will solve this cubic equation using factorization method. So I will split minus 36 as 2K cube. Then I will split minus 16 plus 5K square minus 20. 20 plus 16 is 36. Now I can take 2 common from first 2 terms and 5 common from last 2. So 2 times in bracket k cube minus 8 will be there. So I can write 2 cube plus 5. In bracket I can write k square. It will be 4. So I can write 2 square. So difference of 2 squares, difference of 2 cubes. Let's apply the formula. So I will write a minus b in second bracket a square plus a b plus b square. Then 5 times in bracket k plus 2 k minus 2. RHS is 0. k minus 2 is overall common. So in bracket I can write 2k square plus 4k plus 8 plus 5k plus 10 and right hand side is 0. Again I can write k minus 2. If I will simplify this then it will be 2k square plus 9k plus 18 equal to 0. So we have two brackets. Let us put 0 both. So I will be writing here k minus 2 equal to 0 and then I will be putting 2k square plus 9k plus 18 equal to 0. Let's consider second equation first. I will calculate discriminant only for this quadratic equation. So delta if I will calculate it will become as per formula b square minus 4ac. So I can write here 9 square minus 4 times 2 times 18. So this is 81 minus this would be 36 times 4. So 144. And ultimate value of this is negative. Conclusion is complex solutions and we will reject this. Reject it. This solution we are going to accept. So k will be equal to 2. Now what was k? k was ab. So I will write ab equal to 2. Now if you will see the first equation. a square b plus ab square. That value was 6. So I will write here. ab in bracket a plus b was 6. Let's apply the value of AB here. So 2 times A plus B equal to 6 or A plus B equal to 3. So two equations AB 2, A plus B 3. Let's all. I will write sum of roots 3, product of roots 2. One quadratic we can frame whose roots are a and b. So I can write quadratic in a itself a square minus sum of roots. So minus 3a plus product of roots. So plus 2 equal to 0. If I will factor then I can write it straight away a minus 1 a minus 2 equal to 0. So from here we are having two values a equal to 1 and a equal to 2. Now we know our substitution it was x is equal to 
a square. So I will find out a square. A square will be 1 square and 2 square. So this is nothing but our x. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4. So this is our final answer. Let's cross examine. So I will write here verification for x equal to 1. Okay, so I will be writing here 1 plus 6 over square root 1. So it will be 1 equal to 5 plus square root 5 minus 1 square, so 1. So I will write here 1 plus 6. This side I will write 5 plus square root 4, so 2. So 7 equal to 7, verified, verified. Now let us consider our second solution x equal to 4. I will write here 4 plus 6 over square root 4 equal to 5 plus square root 20 minus 16. So 4 plus 6 by 2, 3. Right hand side 5 plus square root 4 this is. So 7 equal to 5 plus 2, 7. Verified solution. And this brings the end of this video. Our solutions are 1 and 4. I hope you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.